Hi, it's Dr. Arif Rajapura here, Director of Public Health for Blackpool, just to give you here to give you an update on the coronavirus pandemic and how it's affecting Blackpool. Um, our case rates have been fairly stable over the last few weeks, but we're still seeing, um, you know, a significant number of cases coming through uh, uh, every day. So between 70 and 80 cases uh, every day. So uh, we need to be mindful that COVID is still here and spreading uh, within our communities. Uh, you, you will have also have seen the announcements about the Omicron uh, variant that was identified in South Africa that the PM announced. And after a number of new cases were found in the UK, uh, to help the spread, stop the spread of the Omicron uh, COVID-19 variant, the government issued a few precautionary measures that came into effect on the 30th of November which will be reviewed in a in a couple of weeks' time. And the changes that came through uh, that we all need to be mindful of are that face coverings are now compulsory in places such as shops, salons, banks, post offices and, and public transport, unless you're exempt. Um, face coverings are advised in communal areas, in secondary schools, when walking around schools, colleges, universities, and for students and staff and visitors uh, that come into that setting. All contacts of suspected Omicron cases will need to self-isolate for 10 days, regardless of whether you've had the vaccine or not. Uh, and you must follow the, the rules for international travel and not travel to those countries that are on the red list. Anyone entering the UK now will require a PCR test within 48 hours of arrival and will need to self-isolate until you get your uh, negative result. Um, so important to take, uh, take into account those measures that have come in. Along with that, the thing that, that, of course, we all need to do is to get vaccinated. So to, co to combat the potential impact of the uh, Omicron variant, the COVID-19 vaccination programme has been extended. And the, go and the government announced that now booster jabs will be offered to uh, anyone over the age of 18. Uh, the waiting time between your second jab and your booster dose will be shortened from six months to three months. Second jabs will be offered to uh, 12 to 15 year olds. And severely immunocompromised people will be offered a fourth dose uh, of the vaccine as a booster. The, the the plan on rolling this out is still, uh, we're still waiting for that. But the Prime Minister has said that he wants all adults in England to be offered a booster dose by the end of January. Um, so really important we get vaccinated. And just on the issue of vaccinations, one of the uh, one of the main ways uh, of protecting ourselves uh, is is to get the COVID-19 vaccine and to get all your eligible doses. Um, our walking clinics are open across the town, so no appointments needed. We've got specific events for students at colleges, uh, also a dedicated walking clinic uh, every Sunday in December for those aged 12 to 15 that may not have got it through the schools. Um, You've got to remember that children must attend with a parent if they're coming to that. And that can be found at the Hounds Hill Community Testing Hub, which is opposite the back entrance of M&S. Um, and the friendly team are around until from, from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. each Sunday to do the 12 to 15 age group. Currently, any anyone over the age of 14 and over... Uh, is eligible for booster booster dose. The, these two are available at walk-in locations, or if you prefer to book an appointment, you can do this using the national booking line or by ringing one one nine. One of the important points I wanted to uh, get get across is that we have an evergreen offer here in Blackpool. It doesn't matter if you haven't had uh, all of your doses, or even if you haven't had your first dose. If you want to get protected, the, the vaccine will offer you that protection. And our friendly team are here to help answer any questions and talk through any concerns you may have. Um, there's no pressure and no judgment. No one's going to ask you why you haven't had your first dose yet. No, no one's going to do that. So please just uh, book your appointment. Uh, and information about the COVID-19 vaccine programme and our walking clinics and the latest updates about eligibility can be found online, which you can find uh, links to at the uh, attached to this video. Uh, so COVID-19 is, is going to be a feature of our lives and we need to learn to live with it for the foreseeable future. All of us can play our part by understanding the situations where risks for COVID-19 infection and transmission are likely to be higher 
uh, and take uh, action to reduce and manage these risks, um, helping to protect ourselves, our loved ones and others in, in the in the local community. So, yes, please continue to do uh, to do the basic infection control measures, wearing face covering uh, in those places that, that I've talked about where it's mandated. Now, wash your hands, use the alcohol gel if you, if you can't wash your hands. Uh, do the whole catch it, pin it, kill it um, process with coughing, with catching our coughs and sneezes. Um, and of course, get tested. Uh, if you have symptoms, um, then please get a PCR test. Uh, continue to do the lateral flow testing for those people that don't have symptoms. Uh, and um, please um, stay safe uh, as we go into this period. Um, so thank you very much for listening and um, uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one.